slipper that I have to show you guys today is called Ruby Red Slippers. This was one of the earlier polishes that I bought from Deborah Lippman. This was definitely one that I saw, again, on some blog somewhere. And um, it like kind of immediately went onto my list. It reminds me a lot, actually, of China Glaze's Lubu Heels, but like a more intense version. This is a black jelly base with a red chunky hex glitter on it. And yeah, I bought this off of Deborah Lippman's website. I, again, totally saw it on a blog once and realized I had to have it because it's just like, it was the only like red chunky glitter in a black base that I had ever seen. And it was unique and I don't know. I just, I had to have it. So yeah, that is the first coat. It does build up really nicely into coats. The first coat is pretty sheer though because of its jelly base. So yeah, that is what it looks like in the first coat. I'm going to go in now with the second coat and this builds up the glitter really, really well. Um, like the other jelly bases from Deborah Lippmann, this is very easy to apply. The glitter and the jelly base don't get too goopy on the nail. So really easy to apply. And yeah, the glitter base or not the glitter base, but the glitter does build up really nicely and the base does get really nice and dark. So here's what Ruby Red Slippers looks like up close. This one is gonna be a keep until the very end sort of polish. I wanna see kind of where it stands um, in my other darker red polishes as well as in my glitter polishes. Um, so yeah, this is a keep for now. The next polish that I have to show you is called Glitter and Be Gay. And this one came out with um, Shake Your Money Maker and a couple of other ones. This is a gold glitter with a hollow glitter mixed into it, like a hollow chunky glitter, and then some red, or not red, blue chunky glitters mixed into it as well. The base is slightly tinted yellow. I think it was originally like that, whereas like I don't think the glitter leaked into the base or anything, but um, I generally use this as a top coat, so I'll show you the one coat on a bare nail and then the one coat over a color. Um, I forgot to mention this in my last video, but the color that I'm using as a base today is Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue. This is the original Pacific Blue. Um, and it's the same color that I used last time as well. So yeah, that's what it looks like on the nail. You can see that the glitter pickup is really, really strong. Um, the base doesn't really change the color of the base color that I put down before or anything. It doesn't make it super yellow. So even though the base is slightly tinted yellow, it doesn't make a huge difference. So here's what Glitter and Be Gay looks like up close. This one is going to be another one keep until the very end just to see where my gold chunky glitters lie. I do have a lot of chunky glitters in my indie collection as well, so there's going to be some weeding out after that whole process. The next color that I have to show you is called Boom Boom Pow. And this, along with Today Was a Fairy Tale, was um, were released and advertised to have like special ingredients in them. So this one has like 24 karat gold powder or something in it, um, which made it more expensive. But I purchased this because this is the most twinkly, beautiful gold like polish. And it's so delicate. I generally use this as a topper. Um, which it can be worn opaque, but I always use this as a topper A because it was expensive and B because it is very, very sheer in the first coat. So you can definitely use it as a topper over a base color. You can see that there is um, like a gold shimmer that runs through the base, but it is sheer enough again and delicate enough that it's not really super like it doesn't change the base at all. So um, basically, this is a really, really fine gold shimmer base with gold chunky hex in it and gold micro glitter in it. Um, and the, the effect of the polish is beautiful. I particularly like it over blues. Um, so like Pacific blue and deeper, I usually wear it over like a navy blue. And I just love the combo of a dark blue and a gold. Um, and this polish just is very, very twinkly on the nails. So I typically use it for sort of like nighttime inspired or like night sky inspired or galaxy inspired nails. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like in the first coat. Um, I think I've maybe worn it once with multiple coats. So I don't think I'm going to swatch it with multiple coats, but this is what it looks like as a topper. So here's what Boom Boom Pow looks like up close. This is one of my favorite Deborah Lippman polishes, and this is actually my favorite gold topper. Um, so this one I am going to keep. 
The next color that I have to show you is called Shake Your Money Maker, and this was the green polish that I picked up at the same time as um, Glitter and Be Gay. And this polish is a clear base with a green um, small hex glitter in it and then a gold chunky hex glitter in it. Again, this I use as a top coat, so you can see what it looks like on its own in one coat as well as over a base. The glitter pickup on this one is also really, really good. So yeah, that is one coat of Shake Your Money Maker. So this is what Shake Your Money Maker looks like up close as well. This one I think I am actually going to de-stash. As pretty as it is and as much as I like it, it's probably one of the ones that I use the least in my Deborah Lipman collection. So this one is going to go. So this next polish is called Mermaid's Dream. And I remember when this came out, um, this was one of the one polishes after I started collecting nail polish by Deborah Lipman that I like tracked the release for it because it was so pretty and I like when it was available online like went immediately and purchased it and it did actually sell out um, for a little bit I think it came it's either permanent or it came back but yeah this is one of those polishes that I just like I had to have when I saw the promo for it this is a foily teal base like a light teal base with a blue micro glitter mixed into it as well as a gold micro glitter um, and the gold micro glitter is like super 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 fine the blue micro glitter is on the slightly larger side of micro glitters but yeah and then I remember after that they released a bunch of polishes that were similar in color like or not in color in in vain I guess there was like a purple version of this and I think there were a couple other ones but yeah this one is amazing this is definitely in my opinion the best one because this is sort of my color family that I love but yeah that is the first coat it does build up really nicely in a couple of coats so I'll show you the second coat after this dries I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of mermaid's dream and this does get fully opaque in two coats um, the foily base builds up really nicely in the two coats and then the glitter helps the coverage as well this is one of those polishes that does um, reflect te like the texture of the coat before it so like the glitter when you layer the foil on top you can get kind of that bumpy sort of finish so you do want a top coat that is like pretty thick and will cover texture really well so yeah that is two coats of mermaid stream so here's what Mermaid Stream looks like up close. This one I'm gonna keep as well. This is again one of my favorite Deborah Lipman's, and I like like seriously like tracked this one down. And it was one of those things that I just remember when I finally got it in person. Just like the catharsis of having it after all of that was like. I don't know it was totally worth it the next polish that I have to show you is called just dance and this is a mini and this one I saw in a trio I think it was online um, and I saw that it was a teal glitter so I was like oh I have to have it um, and it was like a holiday I think it was a holiday trio and it was limited edition so I purchased it basically just for the teal glitter it's amazing. It is a teal micro glitter with a teal hex glitter in a slightly tinted teal base and I absolutely love it. She did eventually make full sizes of these but I never got the full size because I have the mini. Um, but yeah, it is incredible and I absolutely love this. It does cover really well in the first coat but you do need two coats to get it fully opaque. Um, and this is one that I do wear fully opaque. So yeah, that is what the first coat looks like. I'm going to go now with the second coat of Just Dance, and this does get fully opaque in two coats. Um, this one has gotten a little bit thick in the bottle. I have thinned it out in the past, um, so just keep that in mind if you guys do purchase this one, but it is incredible. It's amazing, so I totally, totally recommend it. So here's what Just Dance looks like up close. I think after Sharla, this is pretty much my favorite teal polish. Um, so yeah, this one I am going to keep. It's amazing, and that's what it looks like up close. The next polish that I have to show you is called Glitter in the Air, and this is a really, really beautiful, delicate color. This is a jelly, just barely blue base with a pink and blue hex glitter mixed into it. This is definitely very sheer in the first coat, um, to the point where the glitter is very, very sparse and the base is barely even like a color. But when you build it up, you get that sandwich of the baby blue and pink glitters into this blue base. Um, and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's definitely the most delicate um, Deborah Lippmann 
polish that I own and probably one of the most delicate polishes that I own in general. This is what it looks like in the first coat. Again, it doesn't really look like anything in the first coat, but it does need to be layered up two or three times for it to get that really pretty effect of the glitter in that blue suspension. So yeah, that is the first coat of glitter in the air. I'm going to go in with the second coat of glitter in the air, and this does build up the base color a little bit. Um, you can see that it does get a little bit more blue, and then you get a little bit more of that glitter mixed in. This is not everyone's cup of tea. It is a very sparse color for people that just, like, you know, they don't really like the sparse glitter effect. They're not going to like this, but... Um, for how delicate it is on the nail, I definitely understand the effect of why there's not that much glitter in this polish. So yeah, that is two coats of glitter in the air. I'm gonna go in with the third coat of glitter in the air, and this is basically how thick I ever make this polish. This definitely makes the nail very cloudy on the nail in terms of color. It gets just that slight tint of blue, and then the polish layers up the glitter really beautifully as well. I forgot to mention that there is, there is a very, very, very sheer and sparse sprinkling of like, um, like an opalescent shard in there as well. I always forget about it because honestly you can't really see it in the bottle, but um, it's there as well and it just, it just adds to that really delicate feel on the nail in this polish, so yeah. That is what three coats of glitter in the air looks like. So here is what glitter in the air looks like up close. Again, very, very pretty, very, very delicate nail polish, even though it has glitter in it and it's like a blue nail polish. It's definitely a very like classy type of color, I guess, in the spectrum of blue glitters. The next polish that I have to show you is called Today Was a Fairy Tale, and this I'm actually gonna put over a slightly darker blue. This is OPI's Year So Euro, um, and it's because I like this over a darker blue. This one I pretty much exclusively wear over a dark blue. This is a platinum toned, um, nail polish, I guess. Um, this one was the one that was like advertised to have gold, or not gold, diamond dust or something in it, but the base itself is a slightly blue tone, sort of like steel blue type of color. Um, it's a jelly base with a bunch of slightly blue tone, sort of platinum-y um, glitters mixed in there. So it does give this effect of really, really sparkly diamond-like reflect on the nail, um, but because of that slight blue tone to the polish, like it's not a straight silver, it's definitely got a slight tint to it, and you can see that in the base itself, um, I think that it pairs the best with a blue. Um, so that's what it looks like on its own. I generally never wear it on its own because I just, you know, it was super expensive, but I also just think that it works best as a top coat. Um, so that's what it looks like over a darker blue. It does lean very silver when you put it over a blue, but it still has that slight blue tint to it. So that is what today was a fairy tale looks like. So here's what today was a fairy tale looks like up close. This is also one of my favorite Deborah Lipman's, so this one I'm going to keep as well. The next polish that I have to show you is called Va Va Voom, and this is a dark blue jelly base with a um, I think it's a blue, but it might be like a steel sort of silver color. You can see that the glitter um, shows up really, really nicely even on its own. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll show you what the second coat looks like. I'm going to go in now with the second coat of Va Va Voom, and this does get fully opaque in two coats. This one you could definitely wear as a topper, um, but I tend to wear this on its own because I like the way that the blue base um, kind of supports that blue glitter, I guess, and the hollow glitter mixed into it. So yeah, that is two coats of Va Va Voom. This one you definitely do need a very strong top coat for, something that is not um, going to sink into all the little crevices that the glitter leaves. So yeah, that's just a thought if you guys um, look for this one or purchase this one. 
So here is what Vava Voom looks like up close. This one is going to be one that I do actually look at when I'm de-stashing all of my other polishes to see where it's it kind of sits in the blue chunky glitter realm of my nail polish collection because I do have a lot of blue chunky indie glitters. So um, we will reevaluate this one when it gets to that point. I'm going to go in now with the last color and this is called Lady Sings the Blues. This is another favorite of mine from Deborah Lippmann and this is a dark midnight blue with a silver sort of pearly glitter mixed into it um, and the way that it layers up the silver pearly glitter goes through like shines through that midnight blue base and is just the most beautiful twinkly like polish on the nail this is very very opaque and it's opaque in one coat and it's just phenomenal so here's what Lady Sings the Blues looks like up close. This one I'm going to keep as well. Um, so yeah, this is this week's Deborah Lippmann video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would totally make my day. And then if you could subscribe, that would also totally make my day. Um, I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you guys next week with another Swatch My Stash video.